Hello friends, Tony here. In this video I'm going to talk about pagination and lazy loading. Here I am in the Livewire documentation website and we have in the features we have a pagination section. And here we can see a Laravel's pagination feature allows you to query a subset of data and provides your users with the ability to navigate between pages of those results. Now, because Laravel's paginator was designed for static applications, in a non layer app, each page navigation trigger a full browser visits to a new URL containing the desired page, so for example, a page 2. However, when you use pagination inside the LiveWire component, users can navigate between pages while remaining on the same page. So LiveWire will handle everything behind the scenes, including the URL query string with the current page. Okay? And here we have an example, so you must use the with pagination trait. We need to use that trait to uh, see that a uh, single page application look like. And we can say on the class use with pagination and we can import that from the live wire with pagination. And then on blade we can do just do the Laravel stuff calling post links. Okay, so let's open the project. Okay, so here I am in the project and for this user I have created uh, six tasks as you can see here. And I'm going to paginate by five. So let's open the class of a task list because here we have the task list component. Okay, so let's open first the tasks list class. And in here when you get the, the tasks for this user, I'm going to use task pagination. Paginate by uh, five and let's save. Now, as you can see here, we have six, but if I refresh, yeah, now we have only five because we paginate by five. Now let's open the blade. So let's say tasks list blade. And here we make a for each. After this for each, I'm going to add a div and say with a class to be margin top of two, margin bottom, I'm going to say 12, and padding of two. And in here, I'm going to render the pagination. So I'm going to say dollar sign tasks and call the links method. Now, as you can see, we have five and there we have a pagination. If I click the two, we navigate the page two, but as you can see, we navigate like a Laravel application. So it's going to be reloaded here. As you can see, we have a reloading here. Now let's use that with pagination trait. Okay, so let's go to task list class and here when we use that trait, so with pagination and save, also make sure you use with pagination here, import that and just by adding that, if I refresh and let's go to, we are in the page one, as you can see up here, if I go to page two, we have a single page application. No reloading, very fast. And just by adding this with pagination in our class. Okay, that's it all about what I wanted to show you about pagination. We have more here, but this is going to be if we want to deep dive into pagination. Now let's go to Livewire lazy loading feature. So Livewire allow you to lazy load components that would otherwise slow down the initial, pay lo initial page load. So for example, we have here an example and then to enable the lazy loading, you can pass the lazy parameter in the component just by doing this, adding the lazy uh, parameter into the component. And what where we can do that in the tasks index blade when we render the task list because I'm going to lazy load the lists here I'm going to just add here lazy like this if I save and as you can see if I refresh first it's going to show the form and then the list of course if I inspect the element and 
go to network slow 3G, refresh. And yeah, here we have the form, and then it's going to load the uh, list here. Now, if we go here also and scroll down, we have this rendering placeholder HTML. So by default, LiveWire will insert an empty div for your component before it is fully loaded. But we can add this placeholder method to render any kind of placeholder HTML you like. So here we have the example. We can create this method and render. So in the task list, we need to create that placeholder method because here we have the lazy and the task here we added the lazy so on the task list now we need to create this placeholder and we can return HTML like this or I'm going to return a view so let's say view here and I have created a skeleton page and here I'm going to return that page so skeleton if I show you the skeleton here in the resources views here is the skeleton blade is just the skeleton I have copied from the flow byte you can go and copy what you like there and I returned here now by adding this method in this task list class let's see what is going to change refresh And now we have a skeleton here instead of empty page. Very nice, very beautiful, just by, by adding this method and of course the skeleton page or you can add directly the in the HTML here that skeleton or the SVG you like. So it's very simple, very easy to do and of course so rendering a placeholder via view. What I have done, you can add also parameters here. Okay friends, that's it all about this video. What I wanted to show you, the lazy loading and pagination, how we can work with a live wire is very easy. All the best and don't forget if you like such a video, subscribe to my channel, uh, like the video, share with your friends and all the best. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.